test 3.4 then so on the fourth diamond you do really need to have a look at these three pages beforehand because they talk about the if and the else and then they add in an extra step if you've got more than two decisions you need another step which is what we call an elif but the thing that might get you more than anything in this is logic so there are certain things that we need to think about the first one is straightforward up here it's saying based on the weather if it's currently raining you should take the bus okay so when we come down here it's expecting you to put this in so is it currently raining it's an input because this black is typed in if they type yes it just should say you should take the bus and stop that's the end of that if not we've got a couple of other options so if we're saying it's not the case then what we need to do is look further down and say okay well is it currently raining no then you're going to have to ask another question so that's another input line so in this case we don't even get to that input line we've just got one input line and output because it's currently raining so it's straight there this is saying if you say no you've got to ask them a second question so another input because you can see that that's black that's been typed in how far in kilometers do you need to travel now up here it gives you some logic it says if the distance is greater than 10 kilometers you should take the bus if it's between 2 and 10 inclusive you should ride your bike and if it's less than two, you should walk. So let's okay. try you to go back to a circle page, this one here, I'm suggesting the second, the middle one of those three. Um, if you have a look at that, that's got information in there about how to use the if, else, and elif. Um, so that's a decent place to go and have a look. If we look at this one, they've just got a straightforward x equals five. Uh, we would normally have an input there which would determine that that might not be five this time it could be if we run it put five in the first time we could run it a second time and put two in but it's got the, the structure anyway of a variable checking that variable against a known value if it's true do this and then finish if that is true it then skips the else and we have a conditional it either goes down that route or that route but not both so if that is true, if x is less than 5, it's not. Uh, sorry, if x is less than 3, which it's not at the moment, but if it were 2, then it'd come down this, print x is less than 3, and then go down to the end, find no more code, and stop. But this isn't, it's 5. So is x less than 5? No, it's not. So it skips this line and goes and does this code. Now it has another if. So this structure is interesting, but it's not all that you need. So let's have a, a look at some other code that I've done that will help a little bit further, I think. Go and have a look at the flowchart here. We can see that if we start at the top and ask the question, is it raining? So we're going down this route here. If the answer to raining is yes, when we do our check, if rain equals yes, then if that's true, we're going to come down and take the bus. That's the route that we're going to do through our code. So that's straightforward. Let's look at the other instance. So is it raining? And we get to there and we say no. We don't go down the true route, we go down the else. So if it's raining true, go that way. If it's false, we get to an else. And then we said we have to ask a second question. How far have you got to travel? So the first test is, well, is it greater than 10? If it is greater than 10, then you're gonna take the bus again and go down that route. That's the second option. Third option is again, come down, it's not raining, so we go down the else route. But this time, the distance isn't 10, it's eight. So that's not greater than 10, but it is greater than two. So we're gonna go down this route and ride your bike. It's gonna go to there. And then the final option is that, no, it's not raining, so we go down the else route. Distance is only one. Is that greater than 10? No. Is it greater than 2? No. Okay, well, that's anything else then. So that means we come down the print walk route and you come out to that section there. Okay. Let's have a look at this piece of code here. Um, we've got a status, which is an input. So are you happy? 
is the question. So somebody, when we run this down here, is going to have to type in an answer to this input that will be stored in status. If status is yes, print, I'm glad about that. And that's it again, because it only goes down the true or false route of an if. If it goes down that route, it comes here and skips else all the way to the end and will stop. So that's just a little bit like the weather. If it's yes, do that and then come here. But if we say no and it skips this one and comes down here and then I've got a second input. Now this is interesting because this is the type of thing you're going to be doing over here. So sad equals, if I've said I'm not happy I must be sad, so I've called my variable sad and I've said integer input, I'm expecting a number between 1 and 10 for how sad they are. If that value that they put in is greater than 7, the emergency ration of cake is going to come out. If it's not greater than 7, it could come down here and say 3. If I'm saying greater than 3. So if it's not greater than 7, it's 7 or below. Greater than 3, OK. This is not as bad as bringing cake, but we might tell them to try exercising. And then if it's less than 3, then we are going to say that I feel a bit down too sometimes. So let's run it. Put in yes for the first question. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. There. I am glad about that. And that's what it's printed at the bottom. It doesn't do anything else. It comes straight down to the bottom after it's at the status of yes. Run it again, and this time we'll put no. It's going to ask me the second question. How sad am I? And I've put in 8. So at that point, how sad? If sad is greater than 7, yes it is, 8 is greater than 7, I will bring cake. So let's do it again. No, how sad? Not as sad this time, just 6. So again, I'm going to come down the else route. Is 6 greater than 7? No. Is it greater than 3? Yes. So have you tried exercising comes in. And finally, are you happy? No, how sad? 2. I feel sad sometimes. It's actually come down below here, the else has disappeared now. But that's the basic structure that you're going to need for your answer to this question.